Passenger shoots up Spanish town taxi because it passed him stop. You see that one there, babe? No. The man shoot up the taxi because the taxi passed him stop. So you know in a Jamaica one time we ring the bell for the bus. I just say I just say you come off. And then drive down and stop where you look a bit past your stop, you just pull out the gun and just What the f oh, really? So this story I'm sourcing from the loop, but I'm using it as a conduit to what I really want to say, okay? So hang on. A taxi driver and his 50-year-old passenger are now in hospital battling for their lives after they were shot and seriously injured by a gunman in Spanish town, Jamaica, over the weekend. Now imagine me reach 50 years old. I drive me, I drive, I ride in a taxi, I go about my business and some like a hothead. Come shoot up the taxi because the taxi pass for him stop. And me catch a gunshot in my 50s. Oh, eh? Me never live no bad man life. I don't endorse no bad man nothing. Me go about my business at 50 years old and pick up gunshot. I got another story coming that I need y'all to pay attention to. Stay tuned for this mother, this lady, this woman in our 40s where build our dream home. Right? Back in Jamaica after working as a CNA. A certified nursing assistant in the United States of America for how many years? And them killed the lady. But this one we are going to deal with right now. Taxi driver and his 50-year-old passenger are now in hospital battling for their life after they were shot and seriously injured by a gunman in a Spanish town, Jamaica, this weekend gone. The news of the incident and why the attack reportedly took place have left a number of residents of the town baffled. The gunman took the vehicle as a passenger and upon reaching his destination requested a stop. Driver, let me off, right castle. You know how we do already. It appeared that the driver passed the stop by a few meters, said a resident from the old capital who is close to the matter. What took place after that left persons in shock. Reports are that the gunman came out of the vehicle and immediately pulled out him gun and opened fire. Bang, 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 bang. Hitting both the driver and the 50 year old passenger. Vex him, vex. Cross, miserable, angry because the vehicle rolled a couple of meters past where he said to stop. Some persons in the area heard the explosion and came to assistance of the injured men who were rushed to the hospital and both admitted in serious condition. The attacker Run fled away. the area. The Spanish, po Spanish town police are investigating the incident. This is what has been reported so far. Then we have a next one. Taxi driver found dead with bullet wound after a car accident. Taxi driver and passenger gunned down in and Kingston operator Taxi operator killed by a man who waited for him at home and all these like this whole thing It must be a very very dangerous job to have in Jamaica to be a taxi driver Because man I shot you up because you fear too high Or them I shot you up because them don't want to pay you nothing but them want you to take them where they want you to take them Or them just I shot you up just because you pass them stop by a little bit Like it's dangerous as hell so it seems right Here's my thing this hot-headed behavior right here is not going to cool no time soon. Susie said it seems like a host of sick in the head folks reside in Jamaica. Um, is she wrong? A host of sick in the head folks reside in Jamaica. What possesses you as a human being? There's no way you could be in your right mind as a human being. I don't care if you're a bad man. That God gun, man, or like what possess you? Driver, let me off that up. And the driver roll a couple more meters and stop. And you get out, take out a gun, and just shoot up the vehicle. There, I'm thinking there has to be more to this story than this. This song saying to you? 
This this has I'm thinking there has to be more to the story than this. And the fact that we don't know what else is there to the story. I'm all, I want my people to come talk up in the comment section. Because I know already what's going to be said. Yo, so floor, joke you make. It don't have to be no more to the story than that. Some of them ignorant just like that. Drive up past them stop. Then we get out and shoot up the vehicle for real. Susie says it seems like a host of sick in the head folks live in Jamaica. Should we take this conversation back to mental illness? Mm -hmm. And so many of them. Like we have a lot of mentally ill people in Jamaica. And we've been saying this for the longest. Brains has done videos on it before. I've done videos on it before. We've done videos together on the topic before. But it seems like some of our lowest viewed videos. Right babe? Definitely. Because they don't take it serious. Majority of the people don't even care. Matter of fact, it's a culture in Jamaica where we big up sick in the head thing. Yo, dog, my head, my head not good. The chip lick. Man, a mad man. Like, it's something to be proud of. That you don't have no blows or skirt sense. It's something to be proud of. That you're ignorant as hell. To the point where you will shoot up somebody and take lives for little and nothing. Yo, me kill people for nothing, man. A bad man. Y'all don't know real gangster. You're a friggin' idiot. With a gun. You're an idiot with a gun. The thing that bothers me though, is that people are saying stuff like, Too many guns. Please take away all their guns. But no, uh, them same people there, they're not saying how so much gun reach here. And we don't make guns. Like, our people are so, on one end of the spectrum, you have mad sick, head no good, kill anybody for anything. And then on the other side of the spectrum, you have dash with the whole of them over there, so because them bad. Mad sick, head no good, take with all of them gun. Matter of fact, anybody that's found with a gun, kill them. Set the rules, laws, and regulations so and nobody is seeing. Or majority of these people are not opening their minds or using their voices to say, no man, stop, stop, stop. Man can't say, yo dog, you pass me stopping you now. Now run that some oxygen for stop. Why your camera come weird on your so? And get mad if you want, get mad. Right? The most you should have been able to do a fling two rocks to after a taxi when he my left. And the taxi driver then no say, see you again. He's not picking your ass up. That's it. But pull out gun, shoot up taxi with people in it that have nothing to do with your affairs. Or your disagreement or grievance with the driver. Like me kill all the taxi driver and the blood clean passenger when he in it, dog. I saw me head chip. Me lick, me chip, lick. Me not even care. And probably have pair of people around them saying, Yo, dog, you're mad enough. I'm a mad bridging enough. It's crazy. It's crazy. Mentally blood clean ill and need attention. We could chalk it up to that. Or, and we're talking about medical attention, we could chalk it up to that. We could chalk it up to Jamaica's perception of mentally ill people. Because majority of them still think, say, because you know, I'm praying enough. Or because you're not strong enough and you're not hold it. Or because somebody up you. The whole concept of chemical imbalances in the brain is not good enough for you. Somebody up your man, no. tell you. Like, and, and we need to get beyond that. Because then we have people in our society that we have. Yo. If this not bother you, I don't know what should bother you. Like, you you in Jamaica, right? You take a cab, you go about your business. You know police, you know taxi, but police, you know taxi stay in Jamaica already. They must stop and pick up other people. People you don't even know. I'm taxi so you're in a taxi now and some mad head, sick head in a taxi with you. And driver, let me off your son. And driver scrapes look a bit more down the road. Let him off. 
and him just mad enough for just pull out and just bam 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 with you in the taxi. You tell me that don't bother you. I don't know what to say, what measures to put in place so this doesn't happen again. I don't know we can't talk about too much guns upon the island, but we beat that to death already. We know where the guns are coming from. But we would rather blame Haiti when Haiti don't make no gun neither. They're just a conduit. They're just a stopover. And we know this. We know who will let the gun them in at the country. We're not holding nobody accountable except for the man them down at the bottom, the totem pole. Bottom of the pole. The one them who don't have much sense. Yeah, the man them where they can fl where them can fling with in a society. I'm telling y'all, Jamaica, listen to me. Listen, until we start to deal with the root branches, stems, and leaves, not gonna solve the problem. Remember, me tell you, you can pick leaf off of the tree all you want to of this problem. That tree will continue to sprout more leaves, even more than what you picked before. So this problem will just renew itself over and over and over again. We need to get to the bottom of these issues. Right? Which is so many guns coming into Jamaica and mental illness in Jamaica. So you have gun in a madman hand and this is the result you get. Driver, <laughs> let me ask you so. Driver probably said, hold on there, hold on there. And or... I don't know how it happened, but drive a scurps like a bit down the street past which part you do want to come off and now people catch a gunshot. Alright, so. It's SoFlow TV, man. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Leave your comment in the comment section below. Let me hear what you got to say about this one. John know me don't want to make Jamaica look bad. But remember, I know me come out of the taxi and shoot up the taxi. I'm just talking about what's happening. Yeah? Alright. I'm out. Peace.